Hi, I'm Ronan. I started a company called Roro Designs. I specialize in custom powder coat and wheel restorations. So here at the shop, I do everything from curb brush repair, wheel straightening, crack repair, chemical stripping, media blasting, polishing, and powder coating. I do a lot of powder coat, anything from home decor to industrial, tons of automotive stuff. But what I really specialize in is doing three piece wheels and specialty wheel restorations. My background's always been in the car world. My whole family, we race. My dad's a mechanic. And I've always been into, you know, all kinds of automotive trades in the past. And uh, my mom's an artist. She redoes furniture. She does a lot of paintings. So I feel like I'm just a perfect marriage of these two, you know, creative people. And what I do is I create art with, you know, with what I do at this shop. I don't want to outsource any of my work and try to rely on anyone else because there's a standard that I want to maintain throughout every single job I do. So today in the shop, we have a set of Sprint Heart CPRs. This is a, an old 80s, 90s Japanese wheel. The customer originally brought them to me to get the lips polished, a bit of curb rash repair. There's actually one dent in the wheel as well. So after talking to him a lot, we actually came to the conclusion that it made more sense to actually do a full restoration on the wheel. So we ended up powder coating the face polished the lips, did a bunch of wheel repair, like I said, the curb rash and the bend, and we put new decals on it. They originally came in red, but we decided to change it to blue because it actually would match its car better than the red. The wheels got the original valve stems, which are found brand new in the box on a shelf all the way from 1995. So it's just great little additions like that that really set the wheel off and just make it that much more unique and that much more of a restoration that it's got all the original parts that the wheel was meant to have. When I do a wheel restoration like this CPR, I do a lot of online research and I want to find out how the wheel came exactly from factory. So you find a lot of forums, a lot of pictures, and you always, you always find stuff that people have, you know, redone them, they claim that they've restored them, but when you find exactly how they're supposed to be, it's great because that's something to model yourself after. So with this wheel specifically, they have a ribbed groove around both beads. It was originally designed for a rally car or a race car. So this is to grip the tire so that when the car launches or it's under heavy load, the tire doesn't spin around the rim. So these have to get taped off to maintain the, the, you know, the factory spec. As well as doing that, the entire inside of the rim that the tire covers gets brushed, that gets cleaned, and it's how it came from factory as well. The lips have to get polished. Now another part of me polishing the lips is I polish all the way around the bead. I don't know what kind of tire these people are gonna be putting on. A lot of people do the stretch tire, they put a really small tire on, which exposes the bead and around the lip. So that gets polished, so it looks completely finished. Now if they put a big tire on, obviously it gets covered, but I know it's still done just in case. If you guys wanna see more of my work, check out current projects, any future projects. You can always see me at my Instagram, which is roro.designs or my Facebook, which is Row Designs Powder Coating. If you're in the area, feel free to stop by. I'll put the cowl on.